Are you ready? Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I am Mabel Van Girl. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is the sort of first official video for the channel and that's because it's a very special day. I do not yet have a rig and today is a day when I'm going out to look at a potential uh, van that I'm going to buy. It is a Burgundy Ford E350, 7.3 liter diesel engine and I want that because diesels are hard to kill. Uh, thanks very much to my friend Kat for sort of recommending that too because I wasn't initially in the market for a diesel engine but when he kind of showed me a few BBC shows and stuff sh showing me how hard it was uh, to kill a diesel engine I was like you know what I'm hard on my stuff so that works for me. Um, also kind of found out that 7.3 liter engines are particularly good you can run them for a long time put a lot of kilometers on them or if you're American Miles and so today I'll be driving up, uh, it's going to be about a two hour drive to go and look at this vehicle. I found it on Kijiji and um, I've been kind of shooting emails back and forth with the owner for a little while. He says the body needs some work, got a bit of rust. Uh, he sent me some close-ups of it. It doesn't look too bad so I'll have to scooch under the vehicle and take a look at the fuel lines and uh, see how the engine starts when it's cold and test the, uh, the parking brake and stuff like that to make sure that everything's all good. I have been shooting the emails back and forth under the name Stevie because that's my nickname. Um, and the reason I do that is because as much as I don't like to admit that sexism exists, hey, you know, I've had a male vendor um, when I was looking at, a, at an ambulance I was signing my emails as my real name and he said oh yeah whatever blah 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 and then I had a, a male friend who was good with cars give him a ring and lo and behold all of a sudden out comes everything that's wrong with the vehicle to my male friend which never came out to me. So after that I started using my nickname. So if you're a uh, female uh, aspiring van lifer who is in the market for a vehicle and you don't want to get uh, taken for the proverbial ride. Maybe use uh, a nickname that sounds a bit more male so that uh, you aren't coming across as female until you meet the buyer. And then if they say, oh well, you know, I thought, and you say, oh no, I, uh, that's my nickname. And I use that when I'm dealing with sellers because I don't like for sellers to kind of not tell me stuff because I'm female and they think that they can palm one off on me. So, tips for life. And we're back. Long drive there, about three hours because of the traffic around Toronto, about two and a half hours back. I apologize for the camera that I'm using right now. My other camera sort of crapped out and this one's not as good because it goes in and out of focus at random. So sorry about that in advance if this uh, video is not as good as the video uh, from the earlier half of the day before we left. So we got up there and the cellar was pretty cool. Uh, I popped the hood to see if the engine had been pre-run it hadn't, so I was able to start it up from cold and get a sense of that. Started great. I um, flopped on my back on the ground, slid under the vehicle, and checked the underside. Fuel lines are good, no leaks, no rust, which is a good sign. There was a little bit of superficial rust on the gas tank, but nothing that really seemed alarming. Tires were great. Um, he's got some really good tires on there, and uh, from the look of them, um, there wasn't any wear that was indicating that there were any front end problems, which is fabulous. Uh, there wasn't any wear indicating that he'd run them under inflated, also good. Uh, door latches worked fine, windows, wipers, all the things that you need for the safety worked great. We took it for a uh, test drive, shocks are good, brakes are great, uh, and the engine, fabulous. So uh, it looks like we have found our rig, and I am delighted to say that because I've been sort of looking uh, every day, um, scrolling around looking for uh, my rig and to be able to find one so soon is very pleasing and uh, yeah looks like I found my Lola. So yeah Lola after uh, the car in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because I'm a big fan and I'm a total nerd so. Don't touch Lola. That's gonna be the vehicle's name. And in about a week, I will head up again uh, to meet the seller and we'll go to the Service Ontario 
uh, office to transfer the vehicle into my name. I'll have picked up insurance before then, uh, and then we'll get temporary plates stuck on the vehicle and drive we'll, uh, back to the place that I'm staying at. So uh, I've got about, mm, let's see, about two months to get the vehicle livable uh, before I hit the road in the summer. Uh, it's going to be a tight schedule, but hopefully we can make it work. And if you want to follow me on my adventures, then please give a like, uh, comment, and uh, hopefully you'll subscribe. And we will see you out there on the road. And yes, for those of you who recognize the necklace, I am channeling the Hardy Boys today. <laughs>